This is uh, Thomas Lyons of Raps on TV, down here at York Hall for the uh, Steve Goodwin show. Fortunate to be joined by Eric McConzo. Back to winning ways tonight, Eric. How's things been? Yeah, it's been good, man. Uh, training camp's gone well. Um, I've got the whole team with me, my strength and conditioning, and my two other corner guys, Darryl and Andy. Uh, everything went well, man. Do you know what I mean? Today was just cool, sort of like a discipline that we've been working on. Yeah. Constant jabbing, moving, making a miss, um, letting my hands go, do you know what I mean? Which I've had. Which I've kind of held back in the past, but so just keep keeping busy, really. Do you know what I mean? I was happy with the performance. Um, I didn't want to go in there and kind of throw bombs because yeah. that's not what we've kind of been working on in camp. Stick to the game plan. That's it. Yeah. The game plan was going there, keep jabbing him, keep jabbing him. Do you know what I'm saying? Keep him busy, keep him distant away from me. So yeah. that's kind of what I've done. But most importantly, man, I'm just happy that I've got the win. Yeah. Um, I displayed what most people haven't seen of me before. And I just hope we can kind of go forward and, you know, go into bigger and better things, man. Yeah, 100%. It was made apparent from ringside, obviously, you implemented the jab from the first round. Yeah. Controlling the pace of the fight and making, you know, calculated moves to get your opponent to sort of lunge in and encounter. That's it. Because, I mean, I got caught with kind of silly shots because I was kind of switching off. Uh, but then I picked myself back up again. Yeah. Um, that's the only reason I got, I got caught. I mean, the main thing is we should not engage in a war. That's what I, want. I wasn't going in there to engage in a war. That's yeah. not what we've been working on at all. The game plan was going there, box his head off. Uh, that's what I've done. Yeah. You know, um, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I know obviously your focus is looking ahead, but uh, just talk, like, obviously not dwelling on the past, but with the Cody Davis fight, in a way, how disappointed were you that you weren't be able to showcase your skills on such a major platform, but now having made the adjustments in this fight, how pleased are you that you've improved and obviously oh. in the new season now, back oh. to winning ways? Happy man. Do you know what I mean? The Cody Davis was sort of like a small little glimpse, like a small percentage of what we've been working on. Yeah. Even though I didn't kind of implement everything, but you know, just a small glimpse. I would say it was out, out, out of 100, what, 10%. But obviously here, I kind of saw uh, 70, 30, yeah. Nine, 80, 20, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say? But, of course, yeah. You know, but I enjoyed the Cody Davis fight. You know what I'm trying to say? I kind of thought, you know, it would have been a draw, but hey, he got the win. The better man won. I wish him well. He's, yeah. he's a nice fella. I ain't got, you know, nothing bad to say about him, but I know. Yeah. move forward, man. And at this, obviously, phase of your career, moving on and hoping to target for major titles in the new season. Yeah. I mean, one or two more wins, hopefully, and I can go after the southern area. Once I get the southern area, English, and then fingers crossed, the Hugo as well. Lonsdale boat, man. So is it all about making those progressive steps up the That's ladder it. for the That's domestic it. team? It's moving at the moment. Move at our own pace. Yeah. You know I'm trying to say I'm not getting any younger. So obviously you kind of fast track me, but in a smart and strategic way. Yeah. And uh, for those raps on TV uh, viewers that are not made aware of your career so far, do you want to shout out any of your trainers, sponsors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. look, man. That have helped you through camp. Yeah, uh, big up to KMG. Uh, big up to Croc. Uh, Josh Brennan, you know, the main head coach. Uh, Daryl, Andy, Tebow, um, everyone, man. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Even my new sponsor, uh, MG Finance. You know, big up them as well, man. Yeah. And big you up as well, oh, my brother. Cheers, man. No, appreciate yeah. that, Josh. You want to come in just to give a word on your assessment of the fight? Uh, yeah, no, it's good. Very good. Start to the game down well. Shady can box a little bit. Uh, he's too used to having a fight. He's good at fighting, so he can work on what he's not good at boxing. Yeah. And if there was one aspect of Eric's sort of game, sticking to the game plan, what were you impressed with that you haven't possibly seen before or glimpses, it's like you said? He showed he can move his head a little bit. He showed he can make people miss. You know, he's just standing there, tucking up, taking it. And, you know, your turn, my turn, sort of fighting. But yeah. No, he showed, he showed he can make people miss and make them pay for it. And yeah. if that was a longer fight, he could have taken a guy like that out. Looking, yeah, and looking, yeah, and looking on the outset, obviously with you and the team, do you expect now Eric to push on and kick on for those major titles this new season? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, we need we need to get back into winning ways. It's hard for us to come off um, a few losses and go straight into title fight. He's definitely ready for uh, you know the kind of low domestic scene, the southern area title domestic scene. But um, yeah, we need to get back in the ring, practice what we've been working in the gym. Um, in there, in front of the lights, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. And obviously, for the fans, a little glimpse four rounder, obviously, being able to now push on for the championship distances, six, eight, 12, and make those progresses. He's, he's, he's ready for the six and eights and twelves, you know, obviously, the nature of the game, we've got to kind of 
Now it's in the home corner. Yeah. It's easier to do a six and eight in the away in the away corner. You haven't got to do tickets, so we've got to just you know play the game a little bit, do, yeah. what, we, do what we've got to do, um, and earn the right to get in there. So, but I said to him last time, I'm not going back downstairs. I'm not going back down. <laughs> yeah. there. We're up here now. We're staying up here. That's yeah. it. Yeah, and obviously that's what your mentality is, obviously to keep pushing through. But uh, Eric, I'm not going to take much of your time. Why don't you get home, get some rest, and then enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, man. Uh, Josh, appreciate you giving us some time. Thank you. Thomas Lyons, Reps on TV, Eric McConzo. Josh, thanks very much, guys. Top man.